Hey, it's Joel. I just flew into Frankfurt, Germany, and boy, are my arms tired. Yes, dad joke. I'm at the Nexa 3D booth, and I'm gonna introduce the Zip, and what I'm about to show you will democratize the industrial 3D printing workflow. This is the Zip. It's the latest 3D printer from Nexa 3D. And like I said, it's going to democratize the industrial 3D printing workflow. The machine itself is 190 by 120 by 170 for X, Y, and Z or Z. It has a 3.8 liter build volume. And under that is a 4K LCD with a 52 micrometer pixel size. And under that is a monochrome light source. It's an incredible machine and the workflow is fantastic. And I get to show you the whole thing. We're gonna talk about the software to set your parts. We're gonna talk about the printing process. We're gonna go through washing and curing. And then my favorite part, I'm gonna to get to show you finished cured models. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the software. And on this tablet is it. This is the Nexa 3DX software. And it's the slicing software for the entirety of the resin 3D printer catalog that Nexa 3D offers. In fact, the zip just fits right in because when you're here and you tap right there, there's the other machines that just fits in. So if you already got Nexa 3D machines, the zip is an easy add. Within here, you can define the machine. You can define one of the many materials that they're offering at launch. You can define the layer height that you want to print at, which is cool. And just like with any slicer, uh, here's the model. You can zoom in, you can move around and twist it. You can even view layer by layer. I really like being able to utilize a touch screen because this sort of workflow utilizes the natural motions that you would think control something. It just makes it easy to use. And what's great too, the software allows stacking of parts. It's not something you've got to manually do. It can automatically help you figure this out, which is awesome for an industrial workflow, especially because if you have to print a bunch of parts at once, you don't want to be mucking with the software. You want to just hit print and go. And to do that, it's this green button right here, and that'll send it to the machine. So next up, I guess we just gotta show you some printing. In order to print with resin printing, you need the tank and you need the resin and you need the model on the machine. So the tank, oh, the tank is this. It is magnets on the bottom and it's got an NFC tag so that when you put it in the machine, whatever resin's in it, it'll recognize it and preset the machine properly. It's heavy. <laughs> this is a this is a chunk of a thing, man. I like having this heavy, robust resin tank right in front of me. Okay, so this goes in the machine. And also right here, this is going to be the resin bottle. So the tank's gonna hold 300 milliliters. The bottle itself is gonna hold a liter. So you can do 1300 milliliters or one liter, 300 milliliters of 3D printing with this resin before even having to interact with the machine. The bottles themselves are gonna have NFC tags as well. And it really just aids in the process of making resin 3D printing easy across the board. So this is the resin. We got the tank, don't fall. What's really great about this build platform is the way it attaches. Ugh. It's heavy and it's metal, which is great, but it has these grooves and it slides on. So normally when I think of resin 3D printing, I think of a something I have to screw down at the top in order to hold the build plate in place. And typically I get resin all over myself and that thing that I have to screw down. And so it just, it doesn't work out really well. It can be variable in the in the pressure it puts on there, it's just, it's not optimal. What I really like about this is there's a lever in place that you pull up and out, and that's it. It's locked into place. So now we've got a tank full of resin. We've got our resin reservoir in the back in the bottle. It recognizes them both because of the NFC tags. The build plate is locked into place. Now all I have to do is hit the magic print now button, and we should have ourselves a print in 13 minutes. Now I want to talk about wash and cure. And I did talk to Nexa 3D about this because as you can probably see, they look familiar. Nexa 3D said, why reinvent the wheel? And that actually makes a lot of sense because in the industrial side of additive, you want to find the right solutions that work 
that work great. And this wash and cure combo is what works great for the zip. And so rather than reinventing something, you give it a new color, you put your branding on it, and you offer a fantastic solution to your customer base. Once things are washed and cured, it's done and we can look at it. And I've got a number of prints that I wanna show you. Let's go there. Our print finished. It looks fantastic, but there's a lot of really cool prints here I wanna show you, especially this one. The zip is gonna be used for dental applications. It has a dental resin and the quality it can produce the teeth models is frightening. Look at this. <laughs> Remember when we talked about the software and I said it could help you solve stacking parts and get you through that. Here's an example of that. These are these tiny little three-way connectors and through software, it stacked them in a way so you could just print a bunch all at once and the quality is pretty great. And it's a full, full build plate. I think a lot of zip owners are going to print brackets and things of that sort because it's not just great with details, but it's also great with dimensions as showcased by this part right here. I wasn't gonna let you go without seeing this Deadpool model. It looks wonderful. It's just ready for paint. One thing to remember about this Deadpool is there is zero post-processing. It was printed, it was washed, it was cured, and it was ready for paint from the go. And honestly, uh, Deadpool and I are gonna close it out here. Thank you, Nexa3D, for letting us come out and showcase this brand new machine and letting the global audience know about this democratization of the industrial workflow for 3D printing. I can't wait for people to see this. I can't wait for people to own this. And I can't wait to show you a deeper dive when we travel to Ventura, California to visit the Nexa3D headquarters and show you exactly how the zip is made. If you made it this far, you're awesome. I made it this far to Frankfurt, Germany to visit Forum Next thanks to Nexa3D. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, and as always, high five.